Hey my little unicorn, I have another book that your poppy found. This one is about bushfire and you know that Boo Boo and Poppy fight fires. So we thought we'd like to read this one to you. Grug and the bushfires. I've never read this one before so hopefully it's a good book. It had not rained for a long time. The grass around Grug's house was very dry and brown. Many leaves were falling from the trees. That's what happens in summer when it gets really hot, isn't it? One very, very hot day, Grug noticed a cloud of smoke in the distance. It seemed to be getting closer and closer to his home. Then Kara hurriedly slithered up and said, It's a bushfire. Kara is the snake. Grug had never seen a bushfire. We should be safe in your house, said Kara, because you live underground. Snoot joined Kara and Grug in his underground home, and many of the other animals and birds from nearby came inside as well. There was little room left, so they all huddled together. From inside his home, Grug could hear a roaring sound getting closer and closer. Then his home began to fill with smoke. The roar was somewhere above them. Then the roar was gone and the smoke slowly left as well. And all was quiet. Grug and Kara, the snake, went outside. The grass on the ground was burnt and some of the trees were also burnt. Kara's hollow log was black with soot. Kara went inside to look and came out all black. She got all dirty from the bushfire soot. Grug's letterbox was just burnt sticks. Look, they're on the ground there, aren't they? Grug and Kara went down to the creek. There was enough water to wash off the soot or the black, dirty bushfire stuff. Most of the food for the animals and birds was also burnt, but Grug showed them his larder. Larder's like where they keep their food. It was full of food that Grug had stored for a time like this. It's good to be prepared. Grug and Kara found a new log that had not been burnt, and this was Kara's Okay, Kara's new home. Maybe it's Kara. Kara? Kara. Grug found some new sticks to make a letterbox. A few days later, a dark cloud passed over. This time it was a thunderstorm with heavy rain. Ooh, it's a big dark cloud, isn't it? It rained for several days. And then the black ground turned green and the trees were getting new leaves. That evening, Grog went to bed thinking, everyone should live underground just like me. Okay, the end. I should have said that before. Okay, good night Luna, Boo Boo loves you.